And now, after everything we've covered in the last few videos, all that's left to do is to actually sell your product. Again, you have a few different options here. Of course, you can do this through your own website using a sales page or more likely an e-commerce store which will turn your website into a shop. Great tools for creating e-commerce stores include WooCommerce, which you can read about here at WooCommerce.com, which has the advantage of being a WordPress plugin, thereby enabling fast and easy installation. And you can actually do this from within the WordPress dashboard. Just go to plugins and type in WooCommerce and uh, you'll get a whole lot of information about WooCommerce. Um, the WooCommerce actual um, plugin itself and then there's lots of add-ons that you can get to uh, improve on it as well. Then there's Magneto which is M-A-G-E-N-T-O dot com um, which is similar but you need to create a separate standalone site. The advantage of this site though is that you can stock more items, you know, up to 50,000 to be precise, but chances are that you won't be quite at this stage for a while. Or you might pick Shopify, which is shopify.com in most countries. Uh, in the UK, it's shopify.co.uk, and I think there are other regional variations as well. And this is hosted, meaning that you set up an account and then just link that to your website. And there are many more e-commerce platforms. Uh, if you just do a search in Google, you'll find lots of different ones, but these should provide you with most of what you need. If you have a small project and a prominent website with lots of traffic, this might be more than sufficient and you may not need to get serious funding from angel investors. This is the easy win option. But if you're a little more ambitious, then you might want to approach a buyer, which will mean getting your product into stores. And here's how you do it. Step one, do your research. If you approach retailers without doing any research first, you're only going to be wasting everyone's time, primarily your own. For starters, you need to know beforehand whether a company is even likely to carry products like yours. And for this, you need to research the kind of things that they sell and who their main shoppers are. A good way to find potential outlets is to search for products from your competitors and then see where they're being sold. Next, you should learn everything you can about these stores. Look at their retail guidelines and see if they have a product submissions page on their website. And Walmart, for instance, has step-by-step -step instructions right on their site. The more prepared you are, the better chance you're going to have. Step two, know yourself. Likewise, you also need to know everything you can about your product and about your business model. When you present your proposal to retailers, you need to be able to show them why you're confident it will sell, who your target demographic is, and how much it can sell for, and how much profit the store's going to make. Again, the more detail you go into, the more confident stores will be in you and your product. Providing product samples is a good strategy if you can, and providing extra materials such as POS displays, you know, point of sale, can help you to win extra brownie points. Press coverage, etc. can also help you to win your case. Step 3. Find your ally. Now you have your pitch stroke package ready, you need to find someone who's willing to listen. Start by contacting the buyer and using the details on the website or by calling up and asking to speak to the buyer or representative. If you get snubbed though, or you don't get any response, you can always try again by looking for contacts you might have within that organisation. And LinkedIn is a powerful tool in that regard. Or you can do this by arranging a meeting with anyone you can. If you can get just one person to listen and to get enthusiastic about your product, then they might help you to get the meeting you need. And finally, step four, use a sales representative. If you're still not having any luck, 
then the other option is to use a sales representative who will handle this part of the process for you. This costs money and you lose some control, but they have experience and contacts which can help them to get you noticed. However you go about it though, don't give up. You can get a thousand rejections, but when you get just one positive response, it'll be all worth it.